We are living through a social experiment on a global scale. What happens when whole countries and continents shut down public life and ask people to stay at home? This question and our personal experience of living through lockdown illustrate some fundamental aspects of the way that human society works. Put simply, human groups cohere in two distinct ways. We develop social networks through face-to-face -face contact in space, and we maintain networks over time at a cross space through media, where you are and who you are. The Space Syntax Lab at the Bartlett UCL has been developing a framework to explain the way that spatial environments we design, buildings and cities, affect the way that human social groups are brought into contact or kept apart, and how they communicate and transact. Space syntax analysis of spatial environments, along with studies of buildings and places, has been used to help design buildings, urban neighbourhoods and whole cities to function well socially and economically. But over the first few months of the pandemic, the spatial and the transspatial networks of society have shifted into different forms all over the world. Social distancing has radically reduced the contacts we make in real space, while internet technologies have helped us maintain transspatial social ties. As we start to plan for living with COVID, the way that we design our buildings and plan our cities must be rethought. To control disease transmission, we may need to segregate areas of our cities from one another and walk or cycle within smaller neighbourhoods instead of using mass transit at the larger scale. We must restart the economy, but without the face-to-face -face interaction on which it has always relied. While software applications support remote working and allow routine transactional meetings, they lack the serendipity of real space that supports creative innovation. Zoom parties allow you to keep in touch with long-term friends, but they offer little opportunity to make new friends. Both serendipity and innovation depend more on the where you are than the who you are. This means that the syntax of the built environment is likely to play a central role in creating a new economy after the pandemic.